All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. This is your host, your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. Got a special guest here, Mr. Jacob. He's here from uh, gopromoted.com. We'll be discussing his project. It's also built on the Solana blockchain. Of course, if you guys have been following my YouTube channel, you guys would have seen me drop a video not too long ago, just kind of briefly uh, discuss, discussing the project and what it's all about and what's to come. Obviously, today, I got the man himself, the guy that's behind the project. We're going to deep dive into the project a little bit later. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and start off with Jacob. Uh, you know, where are you from? How you been? How'd you get into crypto? Uh, talk to us, man. Yeah, so uh, I got into crypto maybe about two years ago, uh, 2018, uh-huh. no more than that, three three years ago, almost four. Uh, I was buying Doge on Robinhood whenever that first came out. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I sold about 300000 of it uh, for like 300 bucks back in the day, so I definitely made a goof there. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how I got into it, of course, a meme coin. Mm-hmm. And then uh, from there, I just kind of started... Uh, uh, actually investing in, uh, you know, decent projects, yeah, not saying some blue that chips, some blue chips here and yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Some, some real projects for yeah. sure. Um, and then our, for our coin launched in like on the 11th of November. So it's not even a month old yet. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's, you know, that's pretty much where I'm at now. It's just been meme coins and, uh, blue chip investments for sure. Okay, so some of your investments, if you want to share some of your portfolio, uh, what's some of the coins right now, some of the projects that you're kind of following, just trying to, you know, kind of keep your head above water, because, you know, as you know, the crypto space moves so fast. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I hold a, a decent bag of Solana. Uh-huh. Uh, I just hold a bunch of that. Obviously, I believe in that, because that's what we're, um, you know, built on. Of course. Uh, and then, of course, a little bit of Bitcoin, just to uh, maybe... <laughs> put the inflation to the side uh but but you know uh, everything's kind of going in the tank right now with uh the new uh coronavirus variant uh yeah, coming out yeah these omicron yeah. variant it's 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 never ending it seems like with uh this whole COVID 19 issues but um that's cool that's cool um so you're pretty much kind of the same range for me too i actually got into crypto back in 2017 uh, you know, didn't start off with the meme coins, didn't start off with the Doge. Obviously, I did hear about Doge, and I don't know if you remember BitConnect and that whole ICO kind of frenzy during 2017, 2018. So that's kind of how I got introduced. And then from there, we were in the bear market for like, what, two years? Uh, and then since then, I just got myself obviously involved in a lot of projects, including yours. And that's something that obviously we're going to talk about today. Um, go promote.com. Uh, I'm trying to think where should we start? Uh, do you have any idea where should start as far as the project? I mean, you kind of take it from here. Oh, for sure. Uh, so go promoted. Uh, it essentially started as a shower thought. Uh, I've tried to start a couple of businesses <laughs> in the past. And, uh, one thing you notice when you're trying to reach out to, uh, influencers to market, um, is that it's incredibly hard to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, so of course I was sitting in the shower, um, and I was like, man, what if there's a way to just middleman all of that and yeah. uh, bring it all together? That way it's super simple. Um, and that's that's pretty much what we're doing here. Uh, we So a business can create an account on GoPromoted and then, you know, create an advertisement. They can pay an S-Bull or, you know, regular fiat. Mm-hmm. And then uh, content creators. So on TikTok, Twitch, uh, I don't know about Instagram yet, mm-hmm. but I'm sure eventually all the major platforms like, you know, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, anything with a following and the ability to market. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of want to reach out to there. Um, but YouTube's definitely our, our uh, main agenda right now. Okay, so basically, uh, uh, sorry I have to cut you off, basically no, pretty you're... much all the top social media platforms that people are pretty much uh, recognized today. I know there are some crypto social media platforms that I'm assuming you guys might have on the back burner, obviously because some of them might not be as big. Uh, but I know you guys' main focus right now is just kind of forwarding to like YouTube, uh, maybe TikTok, uh, IG, Twitter, and then I'm not. Would you do Facebook as well, or kind of Facebook's kind of because I know they got kind of they're kind of going <laughs> different directions right now with with their company. yeah they're kind of they're kind of all over the place. So uh, I'm not I'm not too uh, uh, up to date with Facebook's uh, you know content creation stuff. Um, I don't I can't really foresee them being too big of a player even with their 
mega bucks. Yeah, I had not trust me. I hear you. When they went to the whole meta thing, I just kind of thought to myself, what are y'all doing? But, you know, that's that's time for another subject, whatever. Um, yeah. Now, as far as the actual token, uh, the S-Bull token, which is pretty much the uh, utility token of your guys' platform, um, I know you did say a little bit you will be obviously be able to get paid in that token. Um, where are some of the other tokenomics behind the token itself? Uh, so the tokenomics is pretty straightforward. We have uh, one million, you know, created, um, and that's fixed. So we're not going to be able to make any more of those. There's no more of those being made. Mm -hmm. um, and then eighty percent is going to go to circulation, and we still retain about thirty percent at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and the rest of the so from 20 to 30, the rest of that's going into farming rewards. Um, and we just got listed on Nomics. So we're, oh, we're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. CoinGecko is a little bit slow to uh, answer the call, but yeah. <laughs> we're trying with those as well. Um, so for sure, it's been a, it's been a grind, been very busy with that stuff. Um, and we've gotten up to 200 holders now, so it's wow. still pretty small. Okay, yeah. So. Small, obviously, start from the beginning. Obviously, we're hoping that this grows uh, big over time. Uh, you say you just got recently listed on a new uh, exchange. So right now, in total, how many are you guys listed on? I know you guys are also on Radium as well because I swapped some uh, tokens on, on Radium. For sure. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we have, we're on a bunch of uh, little DEXs that mm -hmm. uh, other tokens have made, like uh, Ashira. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. There's a bunch, there's yeah. a bunch of these decentralized exchanges. Um, so we're listed on about like four or five of those and we're still kind of growing. Um, but with a lot of those, they have an upfront cost, um, yeah, of to course, them. Of course. and a lot of times it's not really worth it. Um, so we're just trying to, uh, utilize our treasury <laughs> as best as we can while trying to grow. So, no, of course, completely understandable. Um, and also too, I know you mentioned the whole, uh, farming, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can only farm on cropper dot finance. If, 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 is that correct? Uh, yeah, and then we're going to be moving over to Atrix, I think, because um, they seem to have a, a lot better, uh, smooth, like a smooth experience there. So, yeah, yeah we might, yeah, we might be moving over to there because Cropper is kind of, Cropper, the UI is a little out there, I think. Yeah, because um, I was so, uh, trying to actually uh, farm on their platform because I know it was like permissionless and everything like that. But for some reason, I was having a little bit of trouble. Um, but hopefully, like I said, you guys are going to be on, get onto another platform. You said, hey, what yeah. was it called? It's called Atrix. Atrix. I, uh, okay. one of our members just brought it up. So, uh, it's app.atrix.finance and it seems to be, uh, seems to be a lot cleaner of a platform. So, okay. So for those of you guys that are listening, watching, obviously right now you can farm on Cropper Finance. Um, there is actually some liquidity on there. Uh, but obviously these guys will be moving onto another platform uh pretty soon hopefully in like maybe what maybe next couple of weeks month or so uh yeah they there's there's a decent upfront cost associated with it so you know again it's just trying to uh leverage our treasury as best as we can to okay. grow so we're kind of weighing the options for sure okay no worries no worries now as far as uh people that are coming onto the platform because i know the launch date, if I'm not mistaken, you guys are going to launch maybe later in December or possibly next year, kind of in between those two months, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to have a, a beta rolling out this month for sure with uh, Go Promoted. Uh -huh. um, and whenever I was making the website, uh, it kind of was an overthought for mobile because, you know, I thought in my head, every content creator had a computer and that would just course, be kind of, of the kind of the the way to go. But uh, so I didn't make it mobile friendly. So we're kind of working backwards, trying to uh, correct that for mobile. Okay. Um, Cause on, yeah, on mobile, it looks rough. So <laughs> and no worries. Everything's, everything's a building stage right now. Like I said, you guys are really early. So expectations are not quite too high right now, but um, that is good to hear. So guys will be having a possible beta here pretty soon. Um, and as far as content creators, I know there's going to be obviously some uh, tiers when it comes to, come on this platform if you kind of just break down how the tiers would work on just a little bit about that because i know some content creators that come on the platform they're gonna wonder you know hey if i do come to the platform i do find some jobs you know what's kind of the range of compensation uh should i be looking for if obviously i'm using this particular platform yeah for sure um so whenever you create an account it goes all off of your subscribers and then the average views that you get on your video 
Um, so anyone that's above or below 2000 subscribers is in mm -hmm. the D class, um, of creators mm -hmm. and they get 1% of a total job. Um, and then unless the job is more than $10,000 or a thousand dollars, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then they get a half of a percentage because of the scaling of the, you know, the money. Mm -hmm. Um, and then anything past that, I can actually pull up the, let me pull up. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. That would be great, sir. All right, yeah. So anyone under 2000 is D, so they get 1% mm -hmm. of anything under 1000 bucks. And then the next one up is C, and that's anyone between 2000 and 5000 mm -hmm. uh, subscribers or followers. Um, we're going to be kind of scaling it out. So like I said, YouTube's kind of our priority right now. Yeah, and course. then uh, we're going to revamp uh, how this all works in the future. But um, for that, and then it goes from 5,000 to 75,000. It's kind of a big gap there, but there's only so many letters. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be a B class creator. And then there's the A class, that, and that's anyone above 75%. Um, and let me, I'm trying to pull up that. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I'm in the, the code side of things, so I'm still <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's nah, quite no a bit. Worries, no worries. Job controller, here we go. All right, yeah, so a C class would get 2% of a job that's mm -hmm. under $1,000. Mm -hmm. uh, a B class would, or a B creator would get 10%, and then an A would get 25%. Um, so the cool thing about the platform, I think, is that mm -hmm. uh, if you're a business and I create an ad, you know, you can have up to, you know, 100 creators, you know, mass market your product. Yeah. Um, because, you know, if there's a, a hundred grade D creators, there's, there's actually, it's more than that. Um, cause every time someone takes a job, it subtracts from the, the job total. And then, so there could be, there could potentially be thousands of creator off of a $1,000, um, you know, job. Um, so it's, it, it scales as people take jobs for sure. And just to kind of touch on that too, um, cause I know you said there's a total. So let's say there's a bunch of content creators that are all trying to go for this job. Um, I'm assuming once that total kind of runs out, if you didn't make that cut, you're kind of asked out. Um, so the way it works is once you take the job, that's your for sure payout. Mm -hmm. And then, at, so say I take a job, like instantly, it would subtract uh, from the budget of that ad what I'm being paid out. And then the next creator would, if he's in the same class, would get paid less than you to mm -hmm. us, you know. Okay. So it all kind of works out that way. Um, so for sure, what, what you, you know, sign up and agree to get paid is what you're going to get paid whenever whenever gotcha. you take that job. Gotcha, gotcha. And then from, I guess, the business side of things, I'm assuming all types of different companies, platforms, wherever they might uh, may be, you come on here and kind of just create almost, in a sense, uh, I would say like a catalog of ads that they want to kind of, you know, use for that mass marketing and just kind of pretty much put it all in uh, Go Promoter's hands where they just have a bunch of creators coming from who knows what sizes of audience backgrounds and just basically be able to find this job and just pretty much just go ahead and market uh, for them. So from a business side of things, I guess this is going to be a really beneficial tool for uh, people that, you know, have a hard time uh, reaching out to influencers. Cause I've heard that same thing as well as a lot of people <laughs> that are, uh, you know, having these crypto companies, crypto platforms, you know, I would think the one commonality is, you know, trying to reach influencers. It's just, it's just tough. Um, right. Also too, on the flip side of that too is, I know influencers that obviously want to get involved with these different businesses and crypto companies. Sometimes they don't even get a reply back. So I think what you guys are creating is going to really alleviate uh, a lot of these missed opportunities and really, I think, kind of push crypto as a whole in the, in the space into a different uh, into to a different category. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of the goal. It's for any platform. You, you know, if you have a you know, a razor that shaves your private parts, you can market that. If you have a, a dog right. coin, you got that. I mean, it could be anything really. Um, you know, not it's not just locked down to one, uh, you know, sector of. Oh, like one niche, basically. It's kind of, just, yeah. it's open-ended for anything. If you just want to come right. on here and get some type of marketing, hey, come on the platform, get the marketing. Right. You'll be able to pay either in the, in the token or you can also pay in PayPal. 
right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not down to one niche, you know. Uh, I think one thing that I would like to see is a lot of coins using it because I know coins are all over the place trying to uh, reach out to creators. That's for sure something that's happening. Um, So I think for any, you know, anyone trying to make a coin or, uh, you know, market their coin, I think it could be a useful tool. Um, And it would probably also, you know, legitimize the, you know, the coin itself. Yeah, that is for sure. Because when it comes to especially like when these new projects get, you know, recently listed on some of these exchanges, a lot of people are so just hungry to go try to find that next, you know, let me find the next one that's going to take me to the moon. And, you know, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You know, if the project has been audited or anything like that, you don't know where it came from, you know, that's a potential scam. You potentially lose out your money. And then from there, that potential, you know, bad experience is going to leave you to kind of leave the, uh, the crypto space. So, um, is that something also too, that you guys might have like a little feature, just kind of like showing the project, showing the authenticity, like showing like maybe it's been uh, audited by, you know, Certic or one right. of those other particular companies that do audits of crypto companies. Is that something that may come down the features down the line as far as the particular website goes? Uh, yeah, we had, st- we had actually thought about just recently, uh, making our own auditing, uh, okay. utility for the token. So essentially it would be, uh, these new coins on Solana paying an s to get their, their token audited. Gotcha, and then gotcha. um, we would we would certify that that token. Um, so that's not something that's currently on the front burner for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we we've definitely thought about doing that because I think um, there was one project in particular I was looking at. And it was called Astra Dex, and mm-hmm. uh, it just rug pulled like a million dollars out of their liquidity pool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so there's for sure a lot of rug pulls happening. And uh, yeah, that's unfortunate I didn't, too. Yeah, because I tried yeah, to tell so people. <laughs> I try to tell people, like, be careful with those rug pulls, man. And you think it's too good to be true sometimes, and it might be. And then next thing you know, your money is gone, and you'll never hear from the project ever again. Right. So, I mean, I think I think as, like, one insightful thing for, you know, your listeners is whenever you create a token and you create a liquidity pool, you can remove that liquidity anytime. Like, if I, if I wanted to, I could go take all the money and run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's a lot of power in, you know, having and creating that liquidity pool. And a lot of people don't don't understand that it's as simple as two clicks to you know it's really simple oh yeah like <laughs> you go and buy yeah, a smart I, chain create liquidity for your particular project you get some money get some trades going some volume next thing you know you can just skedaddle and yeah right you got all these right. holders like uh what happens to the projects like yeah i mean and you're screwed there's nothing you can do about it um so yeah i think that's uh that's for sure something i want to do because uh, it really pisses me off when i see that stuff happening oh, yeah. uh for sure because oh, yeah. it just hurts it just hurts everybody i mean it hurts other you know legitimate tokens and then you know any project that's you know legit yeah it hurts the space just overall um, yeah for sure and then also too because i know uh you know obviously we're both fans of solana uh, i guess also, where did the actual idea of putting it on the Solana blockchain come from? Because, I mean, there's so many different blockchains to choose from. What kind of, uh, what was it about Solana that kind of stuck out to you that, you know, what made sense for you and your project, what you guys are trying to do? Uh, yeah, so I was actually thinking about making it on Ethereum, oh, uh, wow. but I, I went to uh, invest in Ohm for for those good yields oh, okay. and uh, i saw gas fees were 300 bucks i was like yeah no way man <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, gas fees are pretty high yeah there's no yeah yeah so i mean solana offers i think the the best package for sure it's incredibly easy to uh, use and the gas fees are non-existent i mean yeah you could do a hundred transactions a day and not notice it yeah. and uh, i think that's incredibly valuable to the space for sure no i trust me i hear you because i'm constantly either on either radium or orca uh doing a bunch of transactions and when you see that solana fee of like 0.00005 or wherever it is you're like you know what is that but i do know for a fact you know ethereum's gas fees hopefully is something that maybe will get fixed in the next i don't know year or so uh i don't know for me it's just tough i feel like anything that's built on ethereum is just kind of always like tough to just try to get involved because you like think at the back of your mind like yo if I want to buy anything, gas fees are going to be pretty astronomical. And it's like, yeah, right, yo, right. Like, and a lot, a lot of retail investors don't have three hundred dollars to pay for, you know, exactly <laughs> fifty dollars worth of coin. Precisely. So, um, yeah. 
Shoot, I think, I'm trying to think, was there anything else uh, that you would need to actually really just kind of tell the audience or just kind of give them a heads up? I know we kind of touched on a lot of different things as far as what you guys are doing right now, what's planned ahead. Um, is there anything else we're kind of leaving out to the viewers, to the audience out there that they should know about gopromoter.com going in the future? Uh, I mean, I think we really kind of covered all the bases. Uh, like I said, we, we really want to get into a beta um, in December, that's kind of our goal. Uh, and then we're going to move to, uh, these bigger platforms and I can, uh, and I think once we get listed on like a centralized exchange, which is incredibly hard by the oh, way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> well, <trusting>. I already know. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, long-term we, you know, obviously want to get it to where it's, you know, um, you know, it's as simple as a, you know, transferring from your bank account to buy it. Um, and then growing our holders. Um, but, I don't know. In the short term, we're just trying to get into a beta and, you know, get the name and the brand out there and kind of legitimize what we're doing. Um, I hear that. I hear that. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys been watching, listening, make sure you guys head on over to gopromoted.com, especially if you guys are a content creator. This is definitely going to be a platform that you guys can obviously utilize. I'll be utilizing it myself, obviously, because um, I know you guys are out there always trying to get gigs. Well, now we got a platform where we can get gigs. A lot of the kind of the footwork is actually taken out from us. Um, and the business basically come on here and kind of, you know, find us. Um, so that's going to wrap it up as far as GoPromote.com. Before I get Jacob out of here, I do want to ask you some closing questions as far as, you know, what are you looking forward to just next year? Because, you know, this whole NFT craze, man, has been pretty pretty wild i'm not gonna lie like the last probably like the last two days i've been buying some nfts on solana uh bought some nfts on ape swap um so i would say the first question is uh what are you looking forward to as far as like next year as crypto as a whole uh and then two would be you know where are some of your coins that you i would say pick maybe like three coins that three or five coins that you see next year doing some big things and then the last thing would be uh, pretty much a free for all. Whatever you want to say to the audience, viewers, uh, the floor would be yours at that point, sir. I got gotcha. you. Um, I mean, for the Solana, I mean, a couple of coins that I kind of hold as uh, something I could maybe see going somewhere would be Bamboo. It's just a meme coin. Wow, but uh, check that out. I got some Bamboo <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been working and talking to the one of the creators behind that. Um, so we, we actually just did an airdrop for them. Um, nice, so I definitely nice. think bamboo is pretty cool. They have their own DAO and, uh, I think, you know, they're pretty involved and they're pretty active. So I do like that. Uh -huh. Um, I want to say soul Invictus just because of, uh, the, the rewards that you can get from that. But, uh, you know, they're, they're not very transparent and, uh, mm -hmm. I don't really like to invest too heavily into, uh, I mean, they don't even have documentation, so I would be pretty oh, cautious yeah, with that one. Yeah. And then the, the main ones, obviously, being Orca and then uh, the Samo coin. Samo, um, yeah. You got some Samo? <laughs> I do. All right, did. Uh, I did. I sold whenever it got up to 20. I'm probably going to buy in again. Oh, yeah. It got up to, like, what was it, 24, 25 cents? I was like, yo. I was, like, <laughs> tripping because I had bought in, like, I think, like, a penny or two two cents. And then it Damn. just shot up out of nowhere. I was like, yo, because... I was doing some research, and they were kind of saying, like, oh, this is kind of like the Doge of Solana. But I've seen there was some, like, you know, I was reading the tokenomics, and I seen, like, they burned, like, I think it was, like, what, 500 million tokens on a random day every month. So I was like, you know what, this could be something. You just never know. It's, it's on Solana. Not too many people know about it. Uh, so that's a, that's interesting. That, and then also, too, with Samo, uh, you can yield it on Radium and Orca. So... I'm actually double dipping on the Orca uh, pool, so I'm just right. collecting some Samo every day, just trying to, because like I said, you just never know. If it hits a dollar, hey, hey you never <laughs> hey, know. Man, you're probably rich. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think I think uh, a lot of these people, I mean, like you said, the burns are pretty popular. Oh, yeah. um, but a lot of these burns, I mean, these tokens aren't even in circulation, so they have really virtually no effect um, on, you know, the price or anything. They're just a marketing tool, I think. Um, so I, I don't know. I would be cautious when a project saying, you know, they're going to burn half the supply because, I mean, why did they make it in the first place? It's just a marketing tool. Yeah. So I would definitely keep you cautious on that one. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, but, as long as I buy in, that's why I always say, like, about some of these coins where, like, at least for me, I feel like I can feel good by myself after if it doesn't happen, anything. 
if I bought in when it was like super cheap, I'm like, hey, I'm cool. Like I didn't really technically speaking lose any money. Like right. might have made sure. a little bit, but if it goes under or whatever, it's like, all right, well, hey, cool. Did but, you did you cash out your bag for SEMO? I have not yet. I'm over here like trying to debate like do I want to see if it rides back up to that twenty five cents again? Cause it was like it was so weird. It was uh I wanna say it was like the end of October. And out of nowhere, it just had activity. I was just like, yo, what the heck? And then <laughs> got up there, eclipsed, fell. Now it's been kind of like retracted. So I've been watching that one closely just to see like, you know what, if I can get in at, like I said, like a certain price where it's like cheap and it does go back up. And then if it does fall back down, I want to see how far it does fall back down before I make that decision of, you know what, let's just say the next two months it goes back up and falls back down again. At least I know. I have a number where it's like, all right, I can close out right here and I'm right. fine with the project be done. Because I don't know what I'm really doing with that coin anyways. I'm just <laughs> taking that money and putting it into Solana anyway. So it's not like right. like any, any earnings, any like yield I get from that, it's just simply let me go ahead and take that, that profit, swap it to Solana, let it sit in Solana. Because we all know Solana can obviously do some great things. Um, yeah, all right. So those are some uh, interesting projects. Um and then, yeah, get the last word, man. Is there, like, anything else you would love to say to the audience? Um, anything, this is your time. Uh, I mean, I don't have too much. I would say that uh, most of our information comes out on Twitter. I'm pretty active on there. Um, so that's at GoPromoted. Uh, I can't remember the complete at, to be honest. I'm kind of flaking. <laughs> nah, man, go get it, get it, go ahead, go, get it, man. At, go get it, man. Go all right, it's at, at go promoted calm. Yeah. So whenever I made the Twitter, I wasn't really thinking too much because it doesn't say anything about the the token. But uh, I mean, hey, yeah. the whole project started from a shower thought, my guy. So, you know, hey. yeah, it did start from a shower thought. And uh, we are a registered business in the United States. So I think that's pretty cool. I mean, we're pretty transparent, honestly. OK, that's, um, so, good that's good yeah. So, so I think, uh, you know, in terms of if you're scared of a rug, I, I, it'd be pretty hard for me to do that. Yeah, for, <laughs> for sure, sure, for sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, so, I mean, for sure, if you guys are looking for maybe a long-term hold, I mean, for sure, we're going to see this thing out. And, uh, you know, success, we can't really control, but we're going to, you know, at least get it there. You're going to stride towards it. You're going to stride towards it. That's all you can really ask right. for at the end of the day. Uh, well, Jacob, I appreciate you coming on, man. Um, obviously, we'll try to get you back here on the show again, obviously, when the project is obviously a little bit more uh older i guess you could say and then for you like i said you guys have been watching listening i appreciate you guys tuning in um like i said this is jacob from gopromote.com s bull is his token that is the token of the website so if you guys haven't got a chance to pick it up i suggest you go take a chance i mean you never know it's all about being early folks if you guys are early to any type of project that has some type of potential in the end, you guys will always win. Um, this is your host, the Wolf of Crypto. You guys have been listening and watching the Crypto Millionaire Journey. This is Jacob. Got anything else you want to say before we head on out here, man? Uh, no, that's it, man. Appreciate your time. All right, y'all. Until the next time, y'all been listening and watching the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Peace out. Deuces.